You can make a case for or against sports specialization for high schoolers, but at Roosevelt, head coach Mitch Begeman is proud that they have so many players that are multi-sport athletes. Uh, in our program total, we have about 30, 30 plus kids um, that are, are multi-sport athletes, and probably then the majority end are playing football and basketball. But we do have kids that are playing other fall sports that run track and field, and, and uh, we're very, very proud of where we're at right now. Mitch came on board at Roosevelt four years ago and has made it a priority to encourage kids to widen their scope of sports. It's been a work in progress for about four years, to be truthfully honest with you. Um, you know, we've really, really worked together with the football program to encourage our kids to go try something else. And, um, you know, it's turned out to be pretty successful for both football and our program as well. And so we're very, very happy to see our kids go compete in something else besides basketball. The football team looks a lot like the basketball team. The basketball lineup features the football team's All-State quarterback, their top two receivers, their second leading defensive back in interceptions, and the team's third leading tackler, as well as their backup quarterback and their kicker. And that's just in football. They have baseball players and track athletes all over the court as well. This might be commonplace at smaller schools, but you don't see that much crossover at the AA level very often. There are a lot of reasons to specialize. One is that sometimes players want to concentrate on the one sport that they've found that they're best at. But Coach Begeman thinks that thinking might be flawed. I also think it, it, it teaches you to go learn how to um, handle a little bit of adversity at some time because you may not be as good as um, of a player in basketball as you are in football or vice versa. And so I think it kind of teaches you to handle um, some adversity as far as it may not go as well for you, but you, you learn how to handle those situations. The quarterback and starting post player Brady Dannenbring has found out that having different roles makes him appreciate how a team is made up. In football, I gotta like control everything and do all that stuff, and then in basketball, I just kind of get to run out there, you know, read and react, and just, you know, let, like Tucker and all the point guards just worry about thinking about the plays and everything. So it's a big relief, and then I get to just do my thing, and that's a little bit of a different change of pace. Another benefit to having so many players in both sports is that it creates a comfort level that most teams don't enjoy. I mean, we're hanging out all the time, like playing all together all the time. It's we never not see each other, you know. And then in the summer, it's not like we really have an off season, so we just hang out in the summer. And then we also get to, you know, come to a few practices a day and just compete with one another. And I don't know, it kind of a lot of these guys kind of feel like family because we're all in the same sports and we're all just doing the same stuff and hanging out at the same time. Not all of the riders play multiple sports, but more and more are encouraged to. And whether you believe in sports specialization or not. The Rough Riders are out to prove that playing multiple sports helps their basketball team.